My name is Destiny Chantel Woodbury. I am from Rhode Island. Go Rhodey! I'm from Providence, Rhode Island, and I moved to Houston in 2007. The first one is Teach for America, uh, which is an amazing program. You know, they go to college and recruit college graduates. You don't have to major in education. I major in education, but you don't have to. And they place you in schools where there's a need. Like there's kids who are grade levels behind, um, kids who live in low, in, in low income areas. Um, they place you there for you to make a difference in, in those kids' lives. Her homeroom is an all girls class, so like we're sisters, we have each other's back. Like when she asks something, when she asks to get something done, we get it done right away. She's just a great teacher, and I really honor her. And I'm really gonna miss her next year. I have known Destiny for about two years now. Um, we're both from the East Coast. She's from Rhode Island. I'm from Delaware. And so when I first came down to start Teach for America, um, we were placed randomly as roommates for the first KIPP weekend. And so um, ever since then, she's been one of my closest friends down here, and she made my transition really easy. I originally met Destiny. I was on the seventh grade team last year, and she was on the fifth grade team. And then I found out she was training for the Olympics, and I was in the process of working on my own weight loss efforts. And so... Um, you know, I just kind of talked to her because she had a, a fitness business that she was doing. And I just kind of talked to her to see if that was something that we could do, if there was something she could do to help me. And so she actually worked with me for about a year. I've been working with Destiny, of course, this year. And though she teaches science, we've really, really grown to be close friends thus far. So Destiny is someone I met um, my first year working here, which was last year. We met um, on the, the training that we go to before we start here at school. And um, she's an amazing person. Um, ever since I've known her, I've just known her to be a fighter. The special trait about Destiny is definitely that she's a hard worker. Um, I, am, in my opinion, view her as one of the hardest working teachers here on the campus. Um, she's not only dedicated to, of course, her students, but um, she's a master of her content as well as track and field. She always goes above and beyond for the students, even as far as today in regards to the field trips that we had planned. Des Destiny planned all the field trips, so we have about uh, another five coming up for the rest of this semester, and she's always innovative and thinking of ways, uh, really rewarding the students, and just ways of making sure that they're successful. So she's definitely, without a doubt, a hard worker and one of the hardest working teachers here at Kim. For some of us, destiny is a word that means a plan for the future. To the kids of Kip Charter Elementary, Destiny is a hero. What I think Ms. Uber teaches us is how to be unique in your own way. And she's very kind and she wants us to do good on the star science. She prepares us for everything we need to know. And she's just a loving, warm woman. hamstring is weak on the left side. Yeah. So obviously the nerve irritation is causing that hamstring to be weak. So as we work through you over a series of adjustments, that hamstring should get stronger. I'm going to monitor it, okay? okay? Each day that you come in, we're going to check and see how you're doing, how you're feeling, and I'll give you feedback. If there's certain stretches or exercises that I want you to do or not to do, we'll talk about that each day that you come in. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, let's look at another view here. Remember, we looked at the big picture of your overall health. One of the most important things is we see that there's a nice, good, strong curve in your neck. And we talked about the injuries, the stress that happens on a daily basis as being a teacher. Also, the traumas that you've had over your life can lead to a, a very straight neck. So obviously, we're going to adjust your whole spine because we want you to get healthier, not just in your low back, but your whole body. Does that make sense? Let's go ahead and get started.
treatment, getting them some adjustments for my back um, and my sag nerve, and I feel much better, much relaxed to go to practice. So I'm about to go to the track and do it up. What I usually do when I come to practice I is get my mindset right because I'm just coming from school dealing with kids all day, yelling at kids all day and teaching. So track is like the place where I can just let everything go and relax and just focus on me for two hours, three hours a day. Um, so when I get at the track I do my two lap warm up, um, just get my body warmed up and uh, just get my mind right. That's my time just to say, okay Destiny, you're here, you're, you're like you have a goal, get to it. Um, after I do my warm-up, I do my drills, Everybody I mean my stretching. Um, I take my time because, you know, I have um, my pinched nerves, so it's really important that I stretch it and take my time stretching it and do all my stretching. Um, so that's like the most crucial part of my whole routine is that stretching part and really taking my time. After that, I do my drills, I do a couple run-throughs. Um, once my body is nice and warm, then I start my workout. Um, that's typically my routine every day. I have not changed that. Um, when I tried to change that when I first moved here, that's when I got injured. Because in college, my coach really preached to us about really stretching and we will take 45 minutes stretching. That's how crucial it was. And then coming here, training with different coaches, they had like different philosophies and my body from, from nine years old until I was 21, I was used to this thing routine. And coming to Texas and changing that messed my body up. So I'm just trying to get back to things that I have done and that work for me. Um, and I feel much better when I do things that I'm used to. Uh, so that's, that's just part of my routine that I do every single day. Usually as a professional athlete, you just run and that's it. You don't do other things. But like my passion is also teaching kids. And so in my mind, I feel like I can I can do both and be still be successful. Um, and so with that said, it's like I, I'm sacrificing a lot to train for the Olympics, but I'm not going to give up everything to do that. And I, I just, I, I in my heart, I, I know I can't because I have 75 kids who are believing in me and want me to reach this goal and so I'm going to continue teaching because I love it and I I like inspiring my students because I want our world to be full of kids who are just inspired to go after their dreams like that's just my goal like if I can reach 75 kids a year like that's five times five like that's a lot of kids that I'm that I'm inspiring um, and so I just I just my goal is just to inspire my students um, for me to shock myself because um, sometimes I don't believe in myself. I'm just like, you can't do this. You're, you're, you're teaching. You're doing this. Like, you're doing too much. And yes, I think sometimes I am doing too much, but it's like, I start something, so I have to finish it. Um, and I'm just, I'm, just I'm, I'm happy to have this opportunity to even move to Houston to train in good weather, um, have the opportunity to go to practice, um, to be healthy. Um, so I just think my goal is to just stay healthy, train hard, and just just understand that there are people who are rooting for me and who are supporting me, and I have to reach I have to reach my goal.